Hey everybody, welcome back to Gun Deals. I am very excited to go over uh, with you a CZ Scorpion EVO 3 S1. This is an SBR configuration. Let's dive right on in. Okay, so now when you purchase this, um, depending on what state you live in, depends on the magazine size you get. Uh, typically it ships with a 20 round uh, CZ mag. Okay, um, now as I said, this is the SBR version. Now it, you can buy it in multiple different versions uh, with regards to the stock, either a brace or just an end plate. A lot of people like to just buy the end plate and then just attach whatever they like on later. Uh, but as I said, this, we do have the stock on here. It is a foldable stock. The nice thing when this folds, it actually stays out of the way of the ejection port and you can still fire it. Um, so very cool. But again, SB Tactical makes uh, really, really nice braces for these. Um, so that way you don't have to SBR if you don't want to. Um, or again, as I say, just put the end plate on and you're good to go. So let's move up to the iron sights right here. Um, so obviously they do come with the Scorpion and it's really nice because they do have like the gradient here which makes um, anti-reflection with this. If the sun's beaten off or a light's beaten off of it, stops that glare from happening. And that's on the front and back. It has different apertures here also, so you can change that to whatever you, you need. Uh, very nice sides and absolutely no need to upgrade. They are a nice addition to the Scorpion for sure. Um, they do sit upon a 1913 Picrel atop here and you can see we have an Endpoint Pro on here. Um, so you can attach whatever optic you would like. We do have a sling attachment on either side of the upper here, right here and here. And this is actually just this piece, the top piece, the upper is a one piece aluminum. Very cool, and we have the ejection port right here. Now moving down, uh, we have a ambi safety. Actually, it's almost all completely ambi, almost. Um, so we're gonna touch base on the safety here. Um, so this is the regular safety, this is what it looks like. And uh, when you buy a Scorpion, it has a, another safety on here. Now this has a safety delete on it, and I highly recommend you have one ready to go when you buy one, because unless, if, unless you're a lefty, obviously. But um, when, when you buy these and you go and shoot them with the safety still on here without that delete, it rubs your finger raw. It is not pleasant. I don't know why CZ continues to send them with them. Everyone I know will either grind it off or buy a delete. So anyway, um, but they're really cheap. I think you can pick them up for like 12 bucks. Um, but I, and it, they're typically pretty easy to change. I do recommend changing that safety out if you're a right-handed shooter. I know it's nice to have ambi, um, but that sucker really does rub into your finger. So maybe there's a different option for a safety, but the one that comes with it is not pleasant. Okay, uh, moving down, the lower is all polymer. We do have this grip here. This does cause some um, contention as well. Some people you seem to really, really like it or mm, hate it. I'm on. I'm more of the. I don't like the grip that comes with it. I mean, it fits okay. It's just gonna. It's just. It's not the best. There's no real texturing. There's a little bit on the front and the back here. Um, it flares out kind of obnoxiously at the bottom here. Again. It, this is a personal preference thing. Maybe you like it and that's fine. Um, I personally would ch change it out um, and put something a little different on. Now, I keep saying like, oh yeah, change this out and change that out. You, one thing you should know about these Scorpions is there is a massive aftermarket accessories for these. Um, pretty much anything you want to change on these, you can do it. Huge aftermarket, um, aftermarket for these, uh, which is really, really nice. Okay, so then we come down to the trigger guard. We have the trigger in here. We'll go over that in a little bit in just a second. And then we have an ambi mag release right here. So it's at, at the end of the trigger guard right here and on the other side right here. Um, now, this is an aftermarket trigger guard we have on here. This is a Magpul one, so it has a little duck bill at the bottom. Um, when you get a CZ, it doesn't come with that. So a lot of people like to switch these out for, the, for uh, to have the paddle at the bottom, so it kind of reminds them of like an AK release. Again, you can, whatever is your preference, you know, if, if you if you don't mind not having it, it still functions just fine. I am in the fan club of paddle, uh, you know, a little duckbill to switch that out. Again, don't have to, um, but I think it makes changing the mag that much easier. Um, but taking that out, and while we're here, you can see that the mag well is really flared out for easy insertion of these magazines. Slips in just, just fine. Very cool. Okay, so moving up to the top here, this is an aftermarket rail. I'll put in a picture of the original one. 
whatever side. Um, so this is an aftermarket rail. Um, and I actually really like this rail a lot. This is a Midwest Industries rail and it does have some m -lot pieces. Um, obviously on either side, you can um, attach whatever you need on there, lights, lasers, whatever. Um, the barrel is a cold hammer forged 7.7 .7 inch, if I believe. Uh, cold hammer forged barrel. Uh, the barrels are excellent uh, on these CZs. Very, very nice. Um, it does come with this hand stop at the end here. Now you're going to want to you're going to want something at the end here because these are typically pretty short um, firearms. And now I have relatively, I'm not, as I said before, I'm not a big fella, right? And, and so you're going to want to make sure that you do not stick your hand in front of that barrel. So, um, so there's a hand stop here and obviously this is SBR. So we do have the vertical foregrip right here. So we can sit that hand in here uh, and just be fine. Uh, on this side, we have the charging handle. This is ambidextrous also. You can take this out and put it on the other side if you wish. Um, and there's a, a variety of options. This one's kind of a small charging lever, but there is um, larger ones if you want. Again, depends on all what your preference is. You can set this up however you like, um, but that is very cool. But I forget to mention, this is your bolt release right here. And now if you're up, if you pull it back and you push it all the way up, um, you know, you can, if there's a magazine, sorry, if there's if there's ammo in here, sure. um, you can actually kind of do the little uh, MP5 skiv it a slap kind of a thing, which is kind of cool. Um, but the current, uh, yeah, but typically you put it up, or if you're running empty, you do your mag change. You can either just pull this back and let it go with it with a round in there, or you have your bolt release right here. The bolt release is only on that one side. That is the only one part that is not ambidextrous on this firearm. Um, the fit and finish of this Evo is, is flawless. CZ, I mean, if you've never shot a CZ, you're missing out. CZ makes some incredible firearms. Um, very, very nice. I'm a huge, huge fan of CZ firearms and a Scorpion is no different. These are excellent, excellent firearms. Okay. Um, now that I've gone over pretty much everything on the external, I'm just going to change the camera angle. We'll put this down on the table. We'll go over the trigger pull and some of the internals and I'll be right back with you. All right, so let's go ahead and do the trigger pull. We're gonna use a Wheeler trigger scale here. I have obviously checked this, it's unloaded several times, um, so we are good to go. Um, let me just switch this on fire. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what kind of pull we get. This came out at just about a four pound trigger, just under actually, just under four pounds. Let's do that one more time. And just under four pounds. And then we'll do this one more time. Uh, this is not my Evo. Um, I believe there has been a little bit of trigger work done. So bear that in mind. Again, four pounds. So it's coming out about a four pound trigger. It is a nice trigger. Um, let's do the take up and to see what the brake's like. So it's a single stage. Oh, that kind of caught me by surprise there. Let's do that again. Uh, we'll do the reset while we're here. A little bit of let out. Very tactile, very audible um, reset there. That was nice. Let's do the brake. So it's got a little bit, a little bit of take up as you can see. And then the brake. Brake's pretty, cr uh, pretty clean, pretty crisp, uh, tactile. It's not a bad trigger overall. Um, not bad at all. Let's do a really basic, um, field strip here. So what we're going to do is, um, we're going to pull the chart. Well, yeah, pull the charging handle back and lock it. There's a pin on this side. You're going to push that until you see this pin come up and you're going to pull it all the way. It is a capped captive pin. So it's not going to come out. And then you're going to not grab your grip because the grip's attached to the this other part. So you're going to grab the lower and just pull down and pull out like so and that is your lower now to take out the the bolt it's gonna be a little difficult to show you on camera um, and this gun is filthy I've been I've been shooting it a whole bunch and I have not cleaned it and my hands are absolutely filthy now but um so pull back on the charging handle and lock it push your bolt like so and that comes out and this is a big old chunk of metal I think yeah, you should feel the weight of this thing. It's ridiculous compared to how light this frame is compared to this. Uh, this bolt carrier grip it is heavy, but that is your bolt carrier grip. Let's put this back together. Uh, just get your charging handle, push that forward. Take your uh, bolt carrier grip, push the, the guide rod and your buffer part here in at the back. 
push this up. Now you're going to end up catching your finger, so be, be careful, you don't do that. Push that in, as you can see it fits in the way it's supposed to. And to put your lower back in, I know we let the bolt go forward before, but you got to pull it back and lock it. Put the back piece in first, and make sure your pin is all the way out. Push it up, push your pin back in, and bolt forward and you are reassembled. Just a very quick re uh, reassembly, disassembly. Okay, uh, let's change the camera angle one more time and I'll be right back with you. All right, so how are we shooting this? I have so much fun. Uh, I really enjoy um, these kind of uh, PCCs. They're always a blast to shoot. Um, I've shot a lot of CZs in my time, like Scorpions. They, they have been uh, just super reliable, super fun. Um, and as I say, they have it's just a gigantic aftermarket um, selection out there. So you can literally customize this to whatever you want. There really is just, just a massive, massive um, parts list out there for, for changing. So anyway, um, yeah, very, very cool firearm. Uh, as I say, I shot uh, quite a few hundred rounds of uh, 115, 124 gram ball. I wasn't shooting hollow points today. Um, but yeah, it's very, very, very cool. Okay, price. This is how you get the best price on this firearm. To get the best price on this firearm, scroll down to the description, select the UPC code there, and then enter it into Google and search. And then look for the gun deals link, which is at the top here. Click on that, that will take you to our website. Simply scroll down and you will see where it is in stock and the price. Select whatever one you would like. Okay, so do I recommend them? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. These are such fun uh, guns, it's not, it's just crazy. The price point isn't bad as you saw, um, but you can spend a lot of money doing aftermarket parts just like any other firearm. So uh, yeah, very, very cool, 100% recommended. And that is it. All right, folks, if you have any questions, any comments, please ask them below. We are always happy to help out however we can. If you haven't hit our like and subscribe button, please do so. Uh, we, we greatly appreciate it and it doesn't cost you a dime. Until next time, we'll catch you later.